Okay, let's go through uh, the first quiz that we did. That was on chapter one. All right, question one. Nadira sells a dozen of donuts. A dozen means 12 donuts. Half a dozen is six. A dozen is 12 for three ringgit and 99 cents. It cost her 45 cents to make three donuts. How much is the total profit on five dozens of donuts? So basically, let's look at this. You want to find profit. What's profit? Revenue minus cost. Prof what's revenue? Revenue is the sales. Okay, revenue is sales. That means what you sell minus the cost of it is your profit. All right, so revenue is sales. You have to get used to that term. So now, a dozen of donuts, that means 12 donuts is 3.99. So what is the profit? Uh, how much is the total profit on five dozen? So before that, I would suggest that you find the profit for each dozen, that means for every 12. Okay, so 3.99 is for 12 donuts. Um, so minus uh, 0 0.45. Why do we times before? Because you, will, you want to find the similar amount. So 0 0.45 when you times with 12, you will get the cost for 12 donuts. You understand? Because 3 donuts is 0 0.45. How do you make it 12? You times 4, right? So 0 0.45, you times 4. So the revenue for 12 donuts is 3.99. You minus 1.8, which is the cost. For 12 donuts so it is 2.19 per dozen so the profit for each dozen is two ringgit and 19 cents what's the profit for five dozens you times with five all right Amelia purchased a laptop for 1170 she paid 150 at the time of purchase that's like a deposit okay and paid the rest off in equal monthly payments over one year so you take 1170, you minus 150 first. Why do you minus 150 first? Because she paid that off first. Okay, and then you divide it by 12 to find the monthly payments. Question three, both a football field and a basketball court are rectangular in shape. So they gave you the measurement for the football field and the measurement for the basketball field. To the nearest 10, nearest 10, you must always highlight this. Your answer should be in one decimal place. How many times is the area of the football field bigger than that of the basketball court? So you find the area of the football field first. Then you find the area of the basketball court. You divide it to find how many times bigger it is. Understand? All right. So you will realize that you will get 10.435. But your answer they asked you was to the nearest 10. So make sure you put it in one decimal place. So one decimal place will be 10.435. So always highlight things like this. If you don't put it, you will lose marks. Make sure you have units. If you require units, if they ask you to round off to the nearest dollar, nearest cent, you have to follow. All right. All right. A kilometer is approximately 0 0.625 miles. So they have given you a conversion here. Okay. Andrew traveled from KL to Kuantan, Kuantan to Mersing, and from Mersing back to KL. So if uh, I were you, normally write down the information given to you in the question. So if you look down there, I've extracted it out for you. You should always do the same. KL to Kuantan, Kuantan to Mersing, and Mersing back to KL. If you would like to use arrows, you could do that too. The distance from KL to Kuantan is 182.35. So can you see it's written down there already? So the moment you read the question, it's best for you to extract it out so you will make lesser mistakes and you will get less confused as well. Then Kuantan to Mersing, do you see it's added down there to 13.74? And then from Mersing back to KL, 338.79. So you just add up the total distances and you multiply it with zero. Why multiply it with 0 0.625? Because you want to find it in miles. Understand? So the last part, they asked you nearest mile. Nearest mile means nearest whole number. Although when you find the answer, a lot of you left your answer at 490.55. You're supposed to round off to the nearest mile. Always follow the instruction. Highlight this kind of information. All right? Moving forward. A car takes six hours to travel from Damansara to Alostra with 70 kilometers an hour. So one hour, it can go 70 kilometers. This is what I meant by writing out the information. If the car moves 80 kilometers an hour, what will be the time in hours and minutes? So you must change it into hours and minutes. Understand? Not just leave it in hours. 
okay the car would take so one hour is 70 kilometers six hours how many so you take 70 you times six is 420 kilometers all right so 420 kilometers you will divide it with 80 because now the car is moving at 80 per hour you understand so you will get 5.25 hours what is 5.25 hours this is where a lot of students will make mistakes 5.25 hours meaning what you will take 5 hours and 0 0.25 hours so that 0 0.25 you need to times with 60 you understand or not so the 0 0.25 you times with 60 you will get 15 minutes so it will be 5 hours and 15 minutes do you understand all right always if they ask you to change it to hours and minutes the first part is always in hours the second part is still in hours that's why you have to times with 60 so 5 hours, you take 0 0.25 times with 60, you'll get it in hours and minutes. Darren intends to sell 45 books in total to earn 264. He has sold 33 books with an average of 1 book 6 ringgit. Calculate the average of 1 book that was unsold, that was didn't sell, they didn't get sold. All right. So the first one, how many books did he sell? So 6 times 33, you'll get 198. Alright, he intended to actually sell 45 books, which he didn't. He only sold 33. So you find how many books that were not sold. Alright, how many that were not sold? You take 45 minus 33. There will be 12 books balance. Alright, so you see the profit that he gets also. Two, six, I mean the total revenue he gets is 264, right? So 264, you minus 198. Why do I minus 198? That's the amount being sold. Okay, so that balance you will, do, you will get is 66. And you divide it by 12. Alright. The next one. Brian owns a soft drink vending machine that holds 360 quarts of soda. That means all together there is 360 quarts of soda. Last carnival at a last Saturday at a carnival, Brian sold up completely. That means he sold everything. He sells 10 ounces. That means each drink is 10 ounces for 125 dollars. Uh, 100, 1 25 cents. And a 16 ounces. Okay, so then they are giving you now the conversion. 16 ounces in a pint. So you write it down. 16 ounces is one pint. Two pints is one quart. Understand? So now you are going to change it, okay? So, one quart is equal to two pints, which is equal to 32 ounces. Understand? If you use the uh, conversion given to you, you will find, all right, 32 ounces there. Then you will change the quarts into ounces. So, you will do it one by one. Now, you have 360 quarts, right? So, you will do it one by one. So, from, from quarts, you change to pints. From pints, you change to ounces. All right, you do it slowly. So from quarts, you change to pints first. You will times two. Then you will have uh, 720 pints. Then you will times it with 16 because one pint is 16 ounces. So all together, you will get one, one, five, two, zero ounces all together. So now they ask you how many drinks did he serve? Each drink is 10 ounces, right? So you divide 10. Huh? A lot of you forgot to do that. All right, it will be one, one, five, two drinks. Next one, Peter needs to paint his house. He's, he pays uh, RM8 per hour. Most of you got this correct, all right? He hired three workers, so you find each worker how much. You add up their total payment. The only answer, the only part that you all got wrong is round your answer to the nearest 10 ringgit. You didn't do that. So nearest 10 ringgit, 340 to the nearest 10 ringgit will be 340. Always follow instructions. If not, you will lose marks. All right, so just find for each Jack, Jill and John, find their total payment, all right, and then uh, add it all up and round off accordingly, all right? Most of you got this correct, except for the rounding part. A lot of you forgot to do that, all right? Question nine, a consultant sees a patient. Okay, this one, a lot of you got it wrong. I have no idea why. Okay, a consultant sees a patient every 25 minutes and may or may not take a rest after each minute. Okay, he works an average of 50 hours a week. All right, so 50 hours a week, we we're going to change it to minutes now. Why do we do that? Because the first part of the question is in minutes. 
So 50 hours, do you see the first thing I do there? I times 60. So in a week, he works 3,000 minutes. All right? Okay, in a week, he works 3,000 minutes. So the 3,000, you will divide it, okay, to find how many patients in a week. So you divide it with 25 because each patient he sees for 25 minutes. So you will get 120 patients in a week. Okay, now he takes four weeks off vacation. So one year, you must always remember these are one year got 52 weeks. Sometimes they will give you in a question, sometimes they don't give you. So one year got 52 weeks, you will minus four. Why you minus four? He goes for a vacation. Okay, you'll be left with 48 weeks. So you take 48, you times 120 patients, you will see in a year, how many patients does he see? All right. All right. Number 10. Faris earned gross pay of 793.8, working 42 hours each week in a web agency. Whereas Wilson earns that much uh, for 39. Was their pay rate the same? If they ask you whether pay rate the same, you just divide and you find. Yes, both of them are the same. Okay, so if you divide uh, the first one, 793.8 divide 42, you'll get 18.9. 737.1 divide 39, you'll get 18.9. So both of it are the same. Yes, they are the same. All right. All right, the fastest lap is 7.7. .7. One of the swimmers swam three laps with the times of this much. All right. How much longer was the average? So you find the average first which you'll get um, 9.067 and then you'll minus 7.7, .7, which is quite simple. Most of you got this right, but you forgot to round off to the nearest tenth of a second. What is the nearest tenth of a second? One decimal place. What is tenth? One decimal place, isn't it? What is hundreds? Two decimal. The TH number of decimal places. All right. So it's 1.4 seconds. Mike Taylor purchased a four unit apartment building as an investment before he retired. All right, so a four unit building was an investment before he retired. This one a lot of you got wrong. The rent he collects each month pays out 600 of his. Always write down, you see the way I have extracted the question is written down one by one. Per month expenses is 600. How much rent must he charge for each unit of the four apartments if he wants to make a total profit of 500 each month? So you write down, per month expenses is 600, profit is 500. So what's the total? If you want to make a profit of five, whenever you want to make a profit, you have to increase the price by that much. So total should be 1,100. So it's a four unit, 1,100 divide four, 275 each unit. Okay, this number 13 or so, a lot of you got it wrong. So you extract it one by one. Brandon went to Toronto, he had 650. So do you see my working there starts with 650? It cost him $40 for his ticket to the game. So you minus 40. 108 per night to stay two nights. So do you see what I've done there? 108 times two. Then you minus 39 for his flight and you minus 29 for food. So he is left with how much? $36, isn't it? He met a man on Young Street who was running a small casino. Brandon bet $5 in blackjack, so you minus 5 on the 36, and won an amount that was triple of what he had left after making the bet. So 36, you minus 5, you times 3, because he won triple, isn't it? So it's 93, all right? He spent half of his winnings at the ball game. So $93, half of it went to the ball game, which is 46.50. How much did he take home a lot of you left it at 46.50 all right you got to also add 31 dollars to it so you'll be left with 77.50 all right all of us got that moving forward dennis has a vacant plot okay which he has given you that um, measurement there he wants to rent out the plot and earn an income. So he has to resurface the land and put up a perimeter fencing to keep out intruders. So now two tons is 400 square feet. So the moment you see square feet, you know you're going to find area. So you find the area first of that, whatever that he wants to do. 
is 1 to 5 times 2, 1, oh, that total area there is 2, 6, 2, 5, oh, square feet. So every 1,000 square feet, you need 2 tons. Uh, so 2,625 oh, square feet, how many tons? You cross multiply and you find. You will get 52.5. A lot of you left your answers at that. But salt can only be purchased by the ton, meaning you need to round it off to a whole number. All right, everybody okay? So this is about it for quiz one.